Hi guys, I'm down here in Foremost in the southwest corner of the province with Doug Hanna at the Foremost uh, Unmanned Aerial uh, Systems uh, Range. Uh, this is an amazing initiative for local economic development down here. A vision that was started about a decade ago and is really picking up steam. Doug, why don't you tell us what this is all about? Well, it's about helping companies to be able to take their businesses to the next level. And most of those companies are small to medium sized enterprises. And they're operating in an environment where they have to uh, satisfy lots of Transport Canada regulations. Uh, and they're companies that want to be able to fly longer and longer distances to address more and more problems. And so we're here to help them uh, solve technical problems, solve regulatory problems, uh, and to be able to operate professionally and safely. Yeah, but just to back up the steps, I think a lot of folks may not be aware of how big the UAV industry is, is becoming. Uh, what are the kinds of applications? How significant is it as an industry? What, you know, uh, and, and, and how is Alberta playing a role in its, in its development? Well, it's uh, the fastest growing part of the aerospace sector right now as, a, as an industry. We have roughly 30,000 manned aircraft registered in Canada, about 300,000 drones registered in Canada. So it's growing really quickly right now. Uh, the applications span every sector in the economy. Uh, lumber volume metrics in the forestry business, uh, pipeline inspection in the uh, oil and gas business, and, and plant inspections there as well. Uh, special imaging for agriculture to uh, be able to detect invasive species or, or plants. Uh, environmental monitoring. Amazing new technologies, just almost unlimited applications for these kinds of devices. So what you're really doing here is letting companies that are developing new technologies uh, test that here, right? Mm -hmm. And you, you keep that data, you, you, you're trying to help build Transport Canada's confidence to kind of expand the regulatory space for using UAVs. That's part of what you're doing, right? Yeah, exactly. We're, we're generating safety case data to help Transport Canada create regulations. And they need regulations around beyond visual line of sight operations, the uh, pipeline inspection that you mentioned. And, and I think you mentioned that this is one of only three or four UAV ranges in all of North America, which has basically no height restriction, or it's a very large vertical uh, uh, space that people can operate within, unlike, unlike most of North America. Right, yeah, there are two in Canada. We're both authorized for beyond visual line of sight, and we have fairly big test ranges and a significant altitude. But not all the test ranges in the U.S. are that way. There's only a couple that have that same, uh, those same latitudes that we have. And you say that, that Alberta has been a real leader in Canada on UAV technology. And this is, if we get this thing going, it'll help to really uh, uh, emphasize Alberta's role in this important high-tech industry, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Center of gravity of com companies in the country are actually here in Alberta. It's starting to grow in other provinces too, but, but uh, largely here we have over 500 companies in Alberta that use drones as part of their business or it's a core piece of, of their business. I think this is a very exciting story because it's about economic diversification. It's about the vision of a, of a small farming village in a pretty dry corner of the province. Thank gosh they're getting some rain down here this year. But uh, taking the uh, lead on cutting edge new technology, uh, there's some more infrastructure things we need to be doing in terms of uh, high-speed internet, and, and et cetera. Also clearing out some of the regulatory uh, issues with the federal government. But we want to do what we can to help you guys grow and succeed uh, in, a, in a really cutting edge area of um, innovation, tech, to diversify Alberta's economy. So congratulations to you and the team and the town of Foremost for what they're doing here. Yeah, thanks very much.